Hey guys, I'm Joe Cummins and I'm going to do my tech talk today on Redis. All right, I want to start my presentation by talking about the typical relational database that you know. It's great for a lot of the tasks that we do, but for certain situations, its performance is just ordinary. For some tasks, For some tasks, companies like Instagram, Pinterest, Stack Overflow, and Twitter need something super to be able to function every day like they do. They need a hero. And that hero is the Redis Ranger. So here's me uh, coding uh, like I do every day, typically uh, working on a project or something, when out of nowhere, we have these monsters that come in. And we can think of these monsters kind of like a monstrous amount of data. So what are we going to do about that? Uh, OK, yeah, exactly like he says, we're going to become the Redis Rangers to deal with these monsters. So before we jump right in and uh, deal with this, let's uh, talk about sort of our secret weapon and see how it all works. So Redis stands for a remote dictionary server, which is a no SQL database, so that means it has no tables and there's no uh, set way, a specific way of defining or enforcing uh, how the data relates in the table. Uh, Redis is all in memory, so it's in your RAM. And Redis maps keys to data structures, which I'll talk a little bit more about later in the presentation. And Redis is also single threaded, so it's one action at a time, and that uh, actually helps with performance. So a few more weapon specs. Uh, Redis is based on the C language. Redis executes most commands in O of 1. And Redis supports master-slave replication, where, where it's uh, the full database is in the master, and then a full copy is given to each of the slaves. And then in uh, real time, the uh, if, there, if somebody writes the master, the slave gets the update. Uh, and then Redis also supports server-side scripting with Lua, and Lua is its own programming language, and it's in composite and memory. And we use uh, Lua to help us write uh, higher level functionality. And then a new thing that was recently added to Redis is a module system for creating C libraries. So it's pretty cool. OK, so let's flip it, uh, flip it up and look on the uh, inside a little bit. So Redis, for most people, they use it as a cache or a second database. So what that means is they put the data that they need quickly in Redis, and then the data that's OK with uh, slower performance, so you live in like a primary database. Uh, so Redis has quick reading and writing, and it has disk persistence. So you can uh, automatically log your data uh, to a disk. And uh, if you crash, it'll save it. Uh, so. And then some of the main data types you see in Redis, they're pretty straightforward. We have these uh, five of the main ones, strings, hashes, lists, sets, and sorted sets. And a couple of things I want to denote about, uh, a few of these are lists are used a lot in social networks, uh, like a top end list or like a recent news list. We see that with Twitter a lot. Uh, set is like a unique set of items. And a sorted set is used for like a voting or like a leaderboard uh, type of application or type of and then uh, it's a couple other data types that we see are a bitmap, which handles string values like an array of bits. So that's kind of like bit manipulation it works with. And then a hyperlog log is an interesting thing it does. It's an algorithm that approximates the uh, number of unique elements in a set. OK, so let's look at some of the commands that we use to fight all of our monsters. Uh, Redis has 160 commands, and they're essentially there to help get good performance. Uh, we send these into the database, and it doesn't work on the server. So instead of going to the database, getting the data, bringing it back, doing something, sending it back to the database, we uh, do it this way with these commands, and it helps. So let's uh, put on our node uh, thinking caps, I guess Power Ranger costumes, and look at like a really uh, simple example of how we use like Redis and Node together. Uh, and it just kind of shows how like these commands work. So this is us um, setting up, creating a node or creating a Redis client and connecting it, uh, cre creating a new a new Redis client and connecting it to our local Redis uh, instance. 
And then this is us. Uh, okay, so here's how we would set a string. So this the the key would be the Red Ranger uh, string right there, and then the value would be uh, Jason Lee Scott. So it's an example of how you set a string, and then you can use a, a getter to get it, like you see there. And then uh, this is how we source a hash. We use uh, HM set is the command for that. And our key is Power Rangers, uh, the first argument we see. And then the second argument is the uh, key value pair. And then we use H get all as a command to get uh, all the, the entire hash. And then we store a list. We can use R push or L push depending if you want to go left or right. And then we can use L range to retrieve elements in a list. And then the L, we can use the numbers there to show how much of the list we want to get. So negative one here is we want the whole thing. And then we have storing a set, we use uh, SADD. Uh, and then we can retrieve it, uh, the members of the set with S members. So that was just kind of showing like how we use some of the commands. All right, so let's look at some individual use cases uh, that we can use Redis for. So we can use Redis for real-time analytics. We can also use it for high-speed transactions and high-speed data ingestion. Uh, we can use it for session storage. And some I was reading about this. Some other people use like uh, memcached, and the real difference between those two is that uh, they they have similar performance levels, but memcached doesn't do data persistence, which Redis does. So that's a, a big benefit of using it. And then uh, other ones are message queues, which use the uh, list data type. And then we have in-app social functionality, application job management, and uh, geosearch and caching. OK, so we're ready to go. We know about our tool. And we're ready to fight uh, the monsters off. And the battle is quick because uh, we're using Redis, which is a really fast uh, database to use. So that's the gist of my presentation. This is just like my inside. This is just me uh, catching up with sleep after the boot camp is over. I don't boot camp's over. I don't know if everyone's seen the movie, but this is the Power Ranger movie. So uh, thank you guys for watching. That's uh, my presentation on Redis. Oh wow! Nerd crush overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> in that movie like a million times.